Hey, this is Edgar Preciado, Ranch Preciado LLC. I um, just want to give you guys a quick tour of our um, uh, food truck we just bought here. Uh, came with a Yamaha EF45ISC um, generator, which works pretty good. Uh, you hook it up here, but right now I have it connected to the house. That way, don't have to use the generator, but I mean, it, it runs pretty good. I just want to do a um, oil change on it. Let's see. See, it starts up pretty good. It's not too loud, but as you can see, it's got that uh, oil light on. And then the over. Okay, yeah. Maybe that one's not on. But let's see if I stop it, it'll turn off. It might just be the, the way they look. And that might just be the way the, the lights look like they're on. So maybe they're not on. I'll take a look at that maybe at night. But either way, I want to do an oil change on this uh, generator before um, I do anything else with it. But um, let me uh, take you guys inside and show you the, the inside of it real quick. It's a little dirty. We got to do a lot of cleaning on it. As you can see, it's got a nice little sink area, uh, a nice freezer or fridge got a for storage down there and then you can put like meats and stuff up here on uh, these trays here it's got a lot of shelves got a slicer we've got a griddle which we're thinking of maybe replacing with a uh, a stove like maybe you know part griddle part stove and then an oven at the bottom of it then we have a um, oil fryer here or a deep fryer we have more storage up here or kind of there some more shelves up there got a uh, vent for all the smoke and stuff to go up what i'm going to do today is uh kind of get started and uh, clean see if i can't clean this out as you can see it's really dirty don't know why even these baskets here you can see they're really nasty so i'm going to just um put these in here like so well i'm going to fill it up with a uh, cleaning solution and then soap and then Put it in there. Hopefully, I have enough um, propane in the tanks that it came with. It came with two uh, big propane tanks. If those have enough um, fuel in them, great. I'll get it cleaned. If not, I can always take a propane tank off of my um, off of my um, RV travel trailer and uh, do it that way. So as you can see, yeah, it's gonna it's got a cover on it, which is nice. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I can clean this out right now. Here's the solution we bought. It's asking for. Um, two pound for a 15 it's asking for two pounds of cleaner for a 15 pound fryer so let me go ahead and set that up real quick and then i'll come back and show you guys the process here all right so this is my clean i'm gonna use skyland fry cleaner deep fat fryer cleaner it's asking for um like i said two pounds so i got my scale here set up i got it zeroed out so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, pour two pounds in there so I'm going to try to do this. Here, let me uh, set this down. I'm going to pour in two pounds of this cleaner stuff. So this container is eight pounds. So if it's two pounds for cleaning, should give us uh, about four cleanings for the deep fryer. So hopefully it won't take more than one, but... If it does, that's fine. Uh, we can do more than one. Not just one's required. So now I'm gonna grab this and put it in here, but before I do that, I make sure that uh, everything, yeah, this lever's closed. So that's good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I think I got some of that cleaner up my nose. So then it says to put it in here, so I'm gonna put it in there. Now I'm gonna go grab the water hose and uh, Fill it up with water to the, uh, probably to the max level there, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I got my water hose, so I'm going to go ahead and start filling this, try to break some of this uh, stuff down in the process. And then let me, uh, once again, one-handed, so forgive me, let me this. Ah. Oh. 
stuff up. I'm just trying to rinse off the, the dish, get all the, uh, the stuff off of it. So, all right. So I'm gonna fill this up once it's full. I'll come back and uh, and try to turn on the the deep fryer here. So let me finish filling this up, and then we'll turn it on, and hopefully we'll be good. Let me uh. Oh, let me throw the baskets in there too. I saw. Have you got your eye? Let's uh, something else for it to cook. Oops. Sorry, I really need to get a tripod or something. This one handed thing. Not all that fun. So, yeah, I'm hoping that. I'm gonna. Out of here. I'm hoping that. Yeah, these will get clean and then. Hopefully so. Yeah, just give me a second. I'll be right back. Alright, so I got it full. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to turn it on. Let's see if I, so it said turn this to the pilot position. Uh, let's turn to the pilot, and then the pilot's back here. That's the pilot back there. See, this is in the off position. So to have that in the off. Huh. Well, let me see what's going on. I'll get right back with you guys. All right, so I tried lighting this pilot light down here and I couldn't get it lit. So I'm gonna just move on. We might have to call somebody to work on it. I called the guy who we bought the food truck from. He came like that, he couldn't figure it out either. I checked the gas line, there's gas going through it, but some odd reason from the fryer to the pilot light there's no gas so it might be clogged somewhere might need to replace the pilot light on it um we'll see so i have uh the griddle turned on right now and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna just uh probably clean this real quick just so i can say i got something done and then we'll move on from there so i'm one-handed so i'm gonna see if i can't do this throw some oil on it it's already getting warm it's smoking back there it just sucks because the um I'm gonna have it plugged in so I can turn on the heat man. I'm gonna grab my my brick right here and start and start cleaning it. But I'm gonna just kind of trying to show you guys what I'm doing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the camera, and let this soak in really good, and I'm gonna do it, and then I'll come back and show you guys. Well, I do one pass through it, and this is what it's looking like. So. Do another pass, see if I can't get some of this other stuff on there. Side needs to be clean too. As you can see, it's smoking really bad from the sides there, so I have to clean those sides also. But let me uh, finish this up, and I'll come back and hopefully show you guys the end result. All right, well, that, there's probably about as clean as it's gonna get. I just turned off the heat, so I'm gonna let it uh, cool down a bit. I'm probably scrub it a little bit more, and then I'm gonna. Once it cools down, I'll grab a, a rag or a towel or something and uh, finish cleaning it off. Just uh, make sure it's nice and clean before we start um, using it. Using it, so I'll clean this off right here. So I mean, it's already. Looks ten times better, I think, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I should have taken some beforehand pictures, but honestly, I don't think it was going to come out this good. I would have known. But hey, maybe I'll still be able to just take like what's on the video, take a picture off the video, and go that way. So we'll see. So. Just a lot of burnt oil and stuff on here. Food deposits. I mean, ooh, that's hot. So, what I'm trying to do is grab all this oil here and just bring it down to, into the drain pan over here and let it drain out. So, but as you can see, it looks a little bit better. There's still some spots that didn't really come off that good this time but maybe um after a couple uses and it actually um gets uh, hot 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 
be easier to clean. I do got to get some some of those cleaning gloves though, because yeah, this is a little hot. But just I gotta. No, I don't want to use any of that. I was gonna see if I could use some of that, something from there to uh, push all this down. But I'll just use the paper towels to uh, try to get this as clean as possible. Let me uh, say a little thank you bits for carry out and whatnot. I'm gonna get that there so I can just toss these in there. Just like so, and then, yeah, I gotta get something better for this, cause like maybe, they say like assign a spatula or something. Might do that, get like a spatula and then do that, but it might be easier if I had both hands too, so I'm gonna stop recording for right now and uh, let this cool down a little bit more. And then I'll come back and wipe this down and hopefully it'll be uh, good to go. So here's the end result on it. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's still got a little bit of stuff along the edges there and around the back. I mean, over here has to wanna, Come and grab all this stuff here on top. It's still a little warm. And then uh, the sides here, I don't know how good y'all can see, but yeah, the side's really dirty too. So I want to pull it out, turn around, and get all this gunk off of it. But it's a little warm right now, so I'm we'll going to let it cool down a little bit more and um, go from there. And then we got to clean all these walls here, get started on, um, on the floors, but I guess do the tops first bring everything down onto the floor and then from there we'll we'll clean the floors last because everything's gonna end up on the floor gotta pull these rain hoods out clean them out degrease them soak them in some degreaser and uh, go from there brother and that I think everything's coming out pretty good looking pretty good just ah, this damn fryer this is my hold up right now but eh, I don't know I'll figure something out with it either Hire somebody to see if they can fix it, or yeah, who am I kidding? That's probably gonna be what I'm gonna have to end up doing because messing with gas lines and stuff like that. I don't want to do anything like that. It might cause a leak somewhere, and not realize it. So, I'd rather hire a professional. Hopefully, it won't be too too much. I was pricing them online, I'm a little bit over a thousand dollars to get a new one. So, we'll see. On Monday, we're gonna go look at um, some equipment to maybe. Uh, change some stuff out but everything's still up in the air but we'll i'll keep you folks updated as i'm coming in i'm doing the cleaning and stuff to kind of show you guys the step-by-step -step process of everything that we're going to do in here and and how just so you can see pretty much the before and afters 